This week's Knitting SOS is a common problem with a very simple solution. What to do if you're knitting in the round and you discover that the wrong side of the work is facing the outside. As always, if you would like to jump directly to a specific point in the video, there's direct links down in the description. So here you can see I have um, the start of a hat and I have the purl side facing out and I realize that that's the wrong side of the work and I want the right side facing out. Then all I have to do is just flip the work so that the right side is facing out. That's all there is to it. You, there's no changing the direction of the knitting. While I'm knitting in stockinette, where the needle tips are, the stockinette side of the fabric is facing me. The yarn is always connected to the last stitch that was worked. So when you're working in the round, you're always working off the needle where the yarn is not attached. So I can uh, now knit this correctly and I can continue to turn this inside out. I'm always going to be knitting off of the left hand needle and onto the right hand needle and the stockinette fabric is always going to be facing me regardless of what the rest of this fabric is doing. Small circumference items are more likely uh, to do this early around. This is actually has a little bit more knitting to it than the hat size piece and this can be a little trickier because small circumference items are often knit or typically knit um, either with double pointed needles. In this case, I'm working a magic loop on one large circumference needle and some people work with two circular needles and with half of the work on each of the needles. So with magic loop, I've got half of the work on each of the needles. And if you have double pointed needles, you might have three or you might have four and you again might be working inside out. But anytime you are knitting in stockinette, you are going to, the needle that you're working off of is going to have the stockinette side facing you. So even though the stockinette is on the inside of the work, when I'm working in the small circumference, if I'm working inside out, I'll be knitting off of this back needle and the reason I know that is because the working yarn is currently attached to this front needle. So if I want to work across those stitches I would have to pull this needle out and then I could knit in stockinette across this back needle. So what happens when I turn this right side out? So I turn it right side out and now which which needle has the stockinette side facing me? Well, it's this front needle because if I look at the back needle now I see the purl side. So I'm going to want to work across the front needle. I can verify that because the working yarn is attached to the back needle. The working yarn is always attached to the last stitch worked. And when you're working in the round, you're never knitting off of the needle where the yarn is attached. You're always knitting off the other one. So in this case, when I want to work a new half of the round, I pull the back needle out. I pull the needle out where the yarn is attached so that I can then work across the needle where the stockinette is facing me. Many people, especially for small circumference items like socks, actually choose to work with the wrong side out when they're doing color work. This doesn't count as color work because the, the yarn is changing color on its own. But if you are working uh, a fair isle pattern or some kind of stranded color work, um, it can be an advantage to have those floats um, stranded around the outside of the work. It helps keep give them a little bit more slack so that uh, when the item is worn, you just get a little bit more stretch than you would have um, if you had worked with the right side facing out and then stranded around on the inside. Well, I told you it was a simple solution. Now, if you'd like to see my previous Knitting SOS videos, there's a playlist you can click on right there. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions for videos that you'd like to see me do, you can make them down in the comments or you can join me over in my Ravelry group, Rocks Rocks. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.